Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. Big election for mayor coming up in New York City. We're going to talk to one of the candidates. I'm not so sure he's got a chance to win, but let me tell you, he is making it one interesting race. But first, I want to talk about mayoral politics in the Garden State. Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop, the first politician in the state that we know of to take advantage of the Christie Beach debacle. Take a look at this video. I'm Steve Fulop. And they used to say politics in New Jersey is no day at the beach. Until suddenly it was. But instead of more negative politics, this is a way to show you what we're getting done in Jersey City. Like three new schools, farmers markets in every neighborhood, new parks and playgrounds. And I want to check in with political strategist Jeanette Hoffman. Jeanette, welcome back to Chasey News. Always good to talk to you. What is your take on this? This ad seems to be a lot more than a guy running for re-election. This is somebody that looks like he's got ambition on higher office. Well, it's funny you should say that, Bill, because everyone thought that Steve Fulop this year would be a candidate for governor in the Democratic primary. But earlier this year, he said he was not going to run, and he endorsed Phil Murphy, the ambassador to Germany, to be the Democratic candidate. That being said, you know, Steve Fulop's a young guy. He's four years old. He's really charismatic. I do think he has his sights set on bigger things and higher office. But Jeanette, does Mayor Fulop even have a chance? I mean, he's already backed down from one statewide race. Is he just hoping that something happens with Bob Menendez and there'll be a Democrat in the governor's office and he'll get an appointment? Yeah, I mean, you never know in New Jersey politics. Um, with the Menendez trial going on right now and the potential for him to be convicted and resigning, it will need a, a new uh, U.S. Senator. So that spot's going to be open. Who knows? Steve Fulop could be the Democratic nominee. Um, you know, should Phil Murphy be the Democratic governor, he could appoint him. There are a whole bunch of different possibilities that, that could happen. Um, you know, and a lot of it hinges on what happens with Senator Menendez in the trial. Jeanette, let me ask you, do you think this has a bigger chance of being Governor Christie's legacy, even more than Bridgegate? The picture on the beach, worth a thousand words, is it worth a legacy? Uh, I think it's a pretty hilarious photo, and it's definitely gone viral, but I don't think that's going to be his legacy. I think a lot of people like to poke fun of it and use it as a meme, but, I, you know, I think there's, there's bigger things than that for Governor Christie. Thanks, Jeanette. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Dan Zarrow, who's got all your weather. 